Hey all you cool cats and welcome back to another episode of Ye Sait. We are continuing up this mountain. Mount Gendarme, Gendarme, Gendarm, Gendarm. <laughs> Whatever it's called. I know I need to stop doing that, but I, I can't help it. And I'm sure by now someone in the comment section has told me how to properly say the name of this mountain. And I'm sorry because I've recorded all these episodes back to back. I have no idea yet. Oh, there's a save point right up here. Hey, hit that save point. Okay. So is there going to be a boss fight here? Oh, this, the music cut. We definitely have a boss fight. Yeah. Definitely have a boss fight. Yeah. That's a boss arena if I've ever seen one. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, wh what was that? I'm certain that was a primordial lurking nearby. Be on your guard. Oh, it's our friend. But we can't beat him. That's, that's the same one what attacked the village. It's poised to strike. Be ready, you two. But we can't beat it. Man, trying to dodge and it just sometimes doesn't want to work. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Is it dead? Oh, my God. Oh, man, it's not! Our attacks aren't working. Adol, we must retreat before... I'll help you out! Who's that? Huh? Didn't sound like Donna. What the... She just like throw those th things into its eyes. <laughs> the primordial ran away. Uh, what just happened? I think we were just saved. You guys, humans too. A little girl? What is going on with her Who outfit? Are you, squirt? Ricotta? I'm Ricotta. Pleasure to meet ya. Oh no, there's too many little girls. I don't have enough little girl voices for all of them. It's tea. Drink up. When you've got guests, I heard you're supposed to serve them tea. Y yes, of course. Thank you. Oh, the aroma is quite pleasant. So she's been living here? Mm. This is surprisingly delicious. I'll say. Never thought I'd drink something this tasty in a place like this. It's my special blend. Pick the leaves myself, you know. Y did you now? So you really do live here? Yup, yup. So, who are you guys? 
Adel introduced everyone and explained that they came from off the island. Off the island? Just like father! Father? You got a dad here too? He's not my real father, but he taught me how to talk and stuff. Ah, I see. You're not kin. I learned all kinds of new words by studying lots of books. You're reading books that washed ashore? Is that how you learned to prepare tea? There was a book about it. Indeed. Books teach me all about what it's like off the island. They're super important. <laughs> you got your nose to the grindstone, Squirt. Does that mean I'm amazing? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty amazed by you. <laughs> I study, 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 till my head starts hurting, you know? Thanks for helping us earlier. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Say, have you guys seen my father? Your father? We haven't run into anyone up here except you. Oh. Father went out and hasn't come back yet. What do you mean? He went to the mountains about a month ago to observe the primordials. But he's still not back yet. Oh no. I went looking for him, but I couldn't find him anywhere. Th that's not good. But sounds like your old man's a real tough fella. Marching up to a bunch of primordials? Yep. Because he's got these. It looks like some sort of throwing dart. Is this what you used to repel the primordial we faced earlier? The tip of the strange throwing dart appears to be made of a faintly glowing metal. This metal can kill primordials. What'd you say? I've never seen such a fascinating metal. So... If we made weapons out of this metal, we could defeat primordials ourselves? Indeed! But only father knows how to work the metal, and I'm down to my last dart. Well, shoot. And here I thought we were about to start kicking some primordial ass. Still, this is a significant lead. Uh, by the way, Rakota, does that journal over there belong to your father? You mean that one? Yep, that's his all right. Then all the notes we found signed by this tea person must have been written by your father. My father signs all his journal entries as T. His name is actually Thanatos Beldeen. Thanatos? Of course, the T stands for Thanatos. I'm concerned for your father's safety. It would be wise of us to meet him. He seems to know much about this island. But before we can do that, we must take necessary measures against the primordials. If only there was some way to get more of the metal used to make that dart. What do you think, Adol? I think I should have well let's go back to the village huh go back and do what well we could ask Kathleen about the metal oh yeah she might know something where are you guys going? We're going back to our village. Yeah. Take me with you! I want to know more about this dart. Maybe it'll lead to father. Please. I want to... I want to see my father again. At all. 
Do me a solid and bring her along, will you? I won't leave you here. Her <laughs> hair color is crazy. That's right. After all, we owe you our lives. Rakota, I insist you come with us. You mean it? Wouldn't be right to leave a little girl all by herself up here, now would it? Thank you so, so much! <laughs> Welcome aboard! Alright, now let's return to Castaway Village. Tally-ho! Tally-ho. <laughs> Ricota joined the party. Oh, she like legitimately joined the party. What sort of crazy weapons does she have? Also, I have a costume? Maybe? Makes her less ridiculous? Because I, I don't... Uh, okay. I'm going to say this really quick. I don't like this outfit on her at all. This normal one. I would prefer anything over that one. Including... Th this one actually looks the best, but... I mean... Even though this one shows more skin, I prefer this one over what she was wearing because it was it's really bugging me. It was really bugging me. But this one's this one's much better. I like this one. This one's cute. Look at that. It's adorable. Okay. Adorable. Alright. Um, we need to go back to base. Fast travel at Castaway Village. Yes, yes. Oh, she is real adorable. Okay. I, I want to give her a different voice. Um, She's probably going to be a really voiced character, too. So... Maybe I'll try to do a tiny lisp. I don't know if I can pull it off. This is your village? <laughs> you look surprised. Hi, what's that? That? It's called a watchtower. We use it to spot beasts and ships from afar. Why is the fire burning here? Because this is a village center. People gather here to talk and whatnot. On the mainland, they got cities. What have even more people in buildings than this? Cities! I've read about those! <laughs> Don't take my word for it, though. I've never actually been to a city before. <laughs> He's a very fatherly figure, so... Sahad is surprisingly good with kids. They almost look like father and daughter together. Well, he is a father. Hmm. Anyway, once he's done showing Rakota around, we'll head over to Kathleen's armor, Smithy. Hey, Adel. Something I can do for you? Adel explained the situation to Kathleen, then asked Rakota to show her throwing dart. I think it's Rakota? Rakota? Whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I see. Do you recognize this medal? Hmm. Kathleen? Hey, what are you doing? That's the only one we got. Relax. Take a look. Huh? The dart hasn't been damaged at all. I guess I should have taken my grandfather's stories more seriously. 
What are you talking about? There's an old story that's been passed down in Greek about a certain metal. Tougher than diamond and never rusts. I figured it was just a tall tale. Oh my! This metal is said to have a faint glow, like the color of sunlight and a shimmering surface. I call it orichalcum. Orichalcum? It's doubtful whether it even exists. That doesn't have a... But that hasn't stopped nobles and collectors from trying to find it. Many people have visited my parents' forge in search of orichalcum. I never thought it actually existed. So, so, if we made weapons out of this stuff? You might be able to fight off the primordials, yes. However, if you want a whole new weapon forged from orichalcum, you'll need a lot more than this. Do you know where you can mine more of it? Well... You know where your father got this, Rakota? I don't know. How lamentable. Then we're at an impasse. What is it, Adol? We might find it in some old strata. Old Strata? Where did you come up with that? Though confused, Adol describes the strange dream he experienced the other night. Uh, your dream, huh? Um, Adol, please don't take this the wrong way, but... Are you feeling alright? Hmm. Old Strata is much more likely to contain ore. But really? Strata! I know what that is. It's made with bread, eggs, and cheese. I read it tastes really yummy. No, Rakota, we're not talking about the casserole. You're not? Uh, hmm. Strata are layers of hardened dirt piled on top of each other. It's like layers of really old rock. What got fossils in them, right? Let me finish. You won't impart the correct information with such crude explanation. I know that. Huh? I saw it with my father. There's an old cave with lots of fossils near the mountain where I live. Hmm. It must be in this area near the foot of Gendarme that we have yet to explore. If the cave is somewhere near the foot of the mountain, based on your description of how long it took to walk there from your cabin. The cave must be somewhere in this area. We should make it to the cave if we leave from here. Let's forget about Adol's dream for now. A cave may be our best shot at finding a solid or a calcum deposit. Alright then. Let's head to that cave. Tally ho! Hmm, I'll need a furnace that can handle higher temperatures to refine our calcum, not to mention a more efficient fuel source. At least that's what my grandfather said. I better start preparing then. Oh, good idea! You be careful too, Adol. Okay. What is going on here with the bird? Oh, Adol. I was giving Rokota a tour of Castaway Village when... Oh, you're here, Adol. I want to introduce you to someone. This right here is my mentor. Squaw! <laughs> Amazing, huh? It seems that they've been together for a rather long time. My mentor's the reason I'm still alive. When I was a youngling, she would feed me and protect me from beasts. She taught me how to find food, too. But most of all, she filled me with lots of warm, fuzzy feelings. She's the best mentor ever. Squaw! It's not what you think. Don't be embarrassed, silly. <laughs> how adorable. Yeah, this is pretty cute. 
So you're mentor pals with your father, too? They're not super close. Huh? Actually, I just recently learned. My mentor thinks birds and humans don't get along so well. That's why whenever father was around, she would keep her distance. Oh, I see. Then why is she here? Squaw, squaw! There are many humans here. I had to make sure Rakoda would be safe. No one here seems dangerous, so I believe my work here is finished. Take good care of Rakoda. M mentor What a doting mentor. Yes, he is. Wah! It's not what you think. <laughs> he said that already. I'm a little sad, though. I know I'm your pupil, but I can't depend on you forever. I gotta get stronger. Wah! Indeed, I'll try my hardest. Squaw? I'll still watch over Rakota from afar. Please keep bringing me tasty fish. In exchange, I will help you protect the village. Really? That's reassuring! <laughs> well, this is an interesting turn of events. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Big Bird! Shuba will provide support during raids. Oh. I think I have a new fish for you. I'm so happy I got to see my mentor. Okay, so the cave ca father and I went is near the mountain where I live. Come on, let's go there so we can come back to this village. Yeah, sounds like you really like it here, Rakota. Yes, I really do. I'll make it my turf. Your, your turf? You can come and go freely on your turf. You don't want me to come here? <laughs> That's what you meant. That was a startling word choice. Of course I want you to come here. Really? Thanks, I will. She was staring right at you. I have a fish. Here you go. Alright, I'll get you more fish later. Hakoda has given me surprise after surprise. And she is so very carefree. Watching her warms my heart. If we can fight the primordials, it shifts our situation drastically. Let's rest a little and then go search for some orichalcum. Oh, she wants the pretty pebbles. Huh? So smooth, so shiny, so round, but with edges. This is a lot of pretty pebbles. You collected a whole bunch for me. <laughs> But now I can make lots of different stuff. I'm happy, so thank you. Did you make your outfit? Huh? My outfit? Yes, I made it from Driftage. I read books and kept on modifying it to look good. Everyone in the village is stylish. I learned a lot from them. And you look cool and red. Ah, uh, you're cute, Rakota. Haha, <laughs> I'm cute, huh? Yay, I'm so happy. I know. I thought of something nice. I'll make you an accessory as thanks for giving me the pebbles. You better be excited. Yes, higher strength stat. Okay. Ah, uh, do we have anything? What do you want to there? enhance? Oh, we do. I mean, we might as well. All right, I got it. All finished. Oh. Roger, give yeah. me a second. Go for it. All finished. Additional lures. Don't have the materials for any of that. Oh, but we're getting close on that. We need more Are beast bones. Alright, so I guess we need to go to that. So I don't know the fastest way to get to that. Probably here.
Okay, I think I need to walk across this. Uh huh, are we going through this swamp? Yes, according to this map, the cave should be up ahead. Right, Rakota? My apologies, I don't remember that well. It seems the only way is to go forward. Be careful, everyone. I didn't go through here sooner. I just want to run through here and see what I can find. Oh, a treasure chest. I can't really get up there. So I guess that's an area I have to fall down to get to, huh? Yeah. Go up here. And then we fall down yeah. here. <laughs> here. And then we can get to this treasure chest. Which had nothing but bait. Hey. It's yeah. down! past all of that. Allow me. Uh. Yeah, screw that thing. There's somehow a treasure chest down there that I skipped. Which, I don't like that I skipped it. A destroyed bridge? Huh? A bridge? It's been completely destroyed. Probably by a primordial. My father made this bridge. Well, if we don't fix it, we can't go any further. True. Rakoda, your father is obviously very intelligent and skilled. What kind of person is he? Father, he's an explorer. Huh? An explorer, I see. Is her dad being an explorer, kind of like how Idol is an adventurer? Not quite. For one, explorer is a broad term that applies to a variety of people. Some may travel to unexplored lands, searching for riches that have yet to be discovered. Others may travel the world, preaching the tenets of philosophy by which they live. All in all, explorers are always challenging themselves to make new discoveries, whereas an adventurer, in my opinion, is just someone who acts with reckless abandon. Which is a perfect description of Adol, really. I see! That means Thanatos came here looking for to discover something. No. Father was washed ashore here while he was traveling to go on an expedition elsewhere. I helped him after I found him unconscious on the beach. Oh, huh? wait a minute. How long have you been on this island? My whole life. You've been here as long as you can remember. Indeed. I've been the only human here for a long time. That's why I'm so happy to find Father, and why I'm so happy you guys came here. Rakota? Well, I hope we can reunite you with you and your father real soon. Yes, let's alert the village and repair this bridge at once. Okay, um... Treasure chest. Hero belt. Okay. Tiger claw. Okay. I'm not about to ignore treasure chests. All right, back this way. Look how it says it needs like eleven people, but we have fourteen. The bridge has been destroyed, and you are unable to get across. Make a help request. Adol explained the situation to Little Paro, who alerted the other members of the village. With Euron and... With Euron, the consummate handyman, leading the effort, everyone was assigned to a specific task. to task to ta task And began repairing the bridge. Alright, let's start! Yeah. Oh, right. The bridge is repaired thanks to everyone's help. Wow, it's all fixed up. Yeah, <laughs> nice work, Euron. <laughs> Let's continue on. 
Nearby event points have been marked on the map. I you better update me! Thank you, little Paro. <gasps> save point which makes me a little nervous but maybe that doesn't mean anything because it's not at like the end of something like if it was right in front of the cave I'd be like okay it's a boss fight but that one's at the front so I'm not sure what to think sparkling mucus perfect Keep an eye out for the cave. It must be nearby. Well, that looks like a cave if I've ever seen one, but let's check around out here first. I found a treasure! Well, that is a really pretty spot. There's Cairn. That's really pretty. Curios Talisman. Ha! Oh, something's there. Sorry, yeah! What is going on here? Wolves. Uh oh, we're surrounded. Great, a roving pack of wolves. Just what I was hoping we'd find. They seem to be out for blood, but if we pick them off one by one, then maybe... Wait, 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 wait. Is this her dad? A foppish young man. <clears throat> no, I don't think so. Alright, what voice do I- I guess I can give him my... <laughs> my Yusuke voice. I wondered what all the commotion was. Finally, I found some survivors. Oh, you're in quite the predicament. You should make a hasty retreat and allow me to dispatch these curs. Whoa! That dandy packs a wallop. Reinforcements? How impudent! Curses! Stand down! Stand down, I say! He's a spirited fellow, I'll give him that. Let's go! Next! Come on! You're welcome. Phew, that was too close for comfort. But thanks to me, the worst was avoided. Really, you should be thanking me. Uh, actually, I think we saved you. What disrespect. Typical commoners. Why are you so rude? I'm just glad we're all safe. Come on, let's fill him in on what's been happening. Adel gave a brief explanation and told the young man about Castaway Village. Ah, I see. I see. I knew the island was deserted, but... Well, I understand the situation now. Okay. <laughs> Not the voice I expected. His name's Austin. My name is Austin. I am a nobleman from Glia. I urge you to remember my name. For I will go down in history as a great artist. Oh, an artist, huh? Yes. Do I continue? I don't think I can pull off whatever voice he's doing here. I'll just keep going with this. Yes, I am a painter, a sculptor. I, actually, this is hilarious. Why did I give him Yusuke's voice when he's actually an artist? <clears throat> yes, I'm a painter, a sculptor, a poet, and a playwright. Only the medium of music truly eludes me. 
If I'm understanding you correctly, you're not a musician, basically. Castaway Village, eh? I am honored to serve however I can. If we're finished here, I'll be on my way until we meet again. Is he gonna be okay? He seems like he can defend himself. I don't think we need to worry about him. Oh, save point. Cavern of the Ancient King. This must be it. Wow, amazing. Those are all primordial fossils. This cave appears to consist entirely of exposed strata. I've never seen so many fossils before. Is this useful for her research? Yes, plus in addition to these fossils, I've observed living primordials as well. If other researchers came to this island, I'm sure they'd be dancing with joy. So, is this the cave we're looking for? Yes, I recognize this place. And this must be where we can find more orichalcum. Dakota, have you- we literally said this. <laughs> Whenever I came here with my father, he made me wait outside. Well, since there's a group of us, I'm sure it's fine if she comes along. Let's tread carefully as we proceed. Tally-ho! Okay, well we made a save. Does that mean there's like- a boss fight down there. Wow, I actually really like using her more than Sahad in terms of like control. Like I love Sahad as a character, but controlling her abilities are like way better. And I'm not sure why. There gonna be a boss fight down here? Wow, look at that! What a fantastic sight! It sparkles like sunlight. It's this. Oops. It seems this entire wall is packed with orichalcum deposits. Unbelievable. And that huge fossil. Is that supposed to be another primordial? Yes. It appears to be a sauropod. One of the largest I've ever seen. I don't think a specimen of this size or this intact has ever been discovered. I'll bet he was quite a sight back in the day, when he was still alive. It would seem we've managed to find plenty of orichalcum at all. I wonder if we'll fight one. Let's find a deposit that we can easily extract. I'm guessing it's this one. The section of the wall is shimmering brightly. It must be rich with orichalcum. Let's start mining here. And so Adol and the others began mining for orichalcum ore. They'd never done this kind of work before, but with Laxia's suggestions and much trial and error, they managed to gather all the orichalcum that Kathleen needed. Phew, I think we got everything we need. Yes, now we'll be able to forge weapons that can harm primordials. And we start searching for Rakota's father. Indeed, I'm sure he's waiting for me. By the way, Adol, there's something about this I don't understand. 
You mean the cave? No, not that. I'm talking about the dreams you've been having. Now that you mention it, doesn't this prove Adol's dream was right? Yes, his dream provided clear details about the cave and the Oracalcum. I don't think we can dismiss this as mere coincidence. This can't be a coincidence. I agree. Between the existence of primordials, that big tree in the Great Valley, and your dreams... Don't you think a lot of unexplained events have happened, one after another? There's something hidden away on this island that defies human understanding. At least that's what I think. Well, it sure does sound mysterious, but worrying about it won't do us any good. Let's just get our weapons forged and head to Gendarme. I suppose you're right. Let's return to the village and see Kathleen. Or Kalkamore obtained. Alright. I feel like we're going to need to um, take a break right here. So, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Ye Saint. I can't wait to play more Ye Saint, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next episode. So, until then, I'll see you.